This is a comparison of the gum elastic bougie and the airway exchange catheter. The gum elastic bougie is a solid, rigid introducer used to guide endotracheal tube placement and exchange. So it's a solid, rigid tube that you put in. It's not hollow. And you put it in, and then you guide the endotracheal tube over it for endotracheal tube placement. Or if you already have an endotracheal tube in, you could put the gum, elas the gum elastic bougie into the endotracheal tube, swap out your endotracheal tube while the bougie stays in the airway. The airway exchange catheter is similar, but it's hollow. So it's a long, hollow catheter designed for endotracheal tube exchange that allows for ventilation and monitoring during that exchange. They have some common features. They both have depth markings to help them with proper placement. You want to make sure you're deep enough uh, and in the right position. They both allow for spontaneous ventilation around the device because they have very small external diameters compared to the endotracheal tube, which makes sense because you want the endotracheal tube to be able to slide over it. They both carry some risk of tracheal trauma, just like any procedure in the airway. They are both available in different degrees of rigidity. Um, so some of them are bendable, some of them are less bendable. There are key advantages of the airway exchange catheter. The fact that they're hollow versus solid bougies is a major advantage. This allows for jet ventilation. You're able to oxygenate with um, strong bursts of oxygen. They can also be connected to a manual ventilation equipment, and they can be connected to capnography for respiratory monitoring as well.